momentum, but there still are some really talented guys who are coming in to College Park right now. You mentioned Terrence Davis. They have a wide receiver in Tino Ellis, who's a four-star guy, and they got a DJ Turner as well, another good uh, offensive lineman with Richard Merritt. Before we talk about some of these guys specifically, let's hear their head coach talk about them now. He's standing by with Joby Smith. We're back here at Gossip Football Team House and head coach of the Maryland Terrapins in his first season, Coach D.J. Durkin. It's got to be exciting. I've talked to many of your coaching staff already about all the guys that have signed, and you certainly have brought in some key names. Why don't you talk a little bit about them? Yeah, I mean, we're really excited. I mean, what a great day. Anytime you get a chance to, to you know, bring in some guys that you've had a chance to select and, and really feel like are part of what your culture and what you're trying to build in your program. And so, you know, we, we've got a great group coming in. I think, uh, you know, all, all positions really are represented. Um, and, and it was all, you know, guys that we really thought fit, fit the mold of what we're looking for. Now, when you talk about some of the four stars, why don't you give the viewers a... Uh an explanation of who you brought in because a lot of the guys are from the DMV area. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, in terms of stars, I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys to tell me who was who. But we definitely um, made a point in this class and all classes. We're, we're going we're gonna to recruit our backyard, the DMV, really, really hard. I think uh, the representation of the math high school in particular this year uh, shows our commitment to that. And, you know, that, that there, there's been uh, um, not a guy here in, in quite some time from that high school. And it's, it's obviously a great program. And, and Coach Elijah Brooks does an unbelievable job there. And so we're, we're going to make a point to keep going back there uh, year in and year out. And tell me who some of those players are. Yeah, so Terrence Davis is, is an offensive lineman. That's what we, you know, we feel is just a great player, one of the best players in the country at his position. Uh, you know, uh, Squeal can do a lot of things for us, and, and he will. We, we expect him to come in and, and compete and, and help us early. Uh, you know, and then, and then you look at, at running back Lorenzo Harrison, um, you know, just a, a tremendous back, a guy that has big play capability, runs hard, he's powerful. Um, again, just, just fits our culture and what we're all about in terms of a hard, hard nose, great effort, tough guy. Um, and then, you know, DJ Turner, uh, Turner, Tino Ellis, both those guys are guys that we, we think can come in and help us right away at, at receiver and get the ball in their hands as many ways as we can. I have to talk about your footprint down in Florida. Coming from the University of Florida, a wealth of talent. I've covered high school football down there from one end of the state to the other. How progressive have you been in that area, especially because you've got a history there? Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I think you know that reflects in our class as well, and, and what we're, we're, we're kind of viewing Florida as our second home. You know, the, the DMV I think has great talent year in and year out. We're going to recruit that like crazy as, as, as best as we can and get guys from there every year. But you know what? We're going to go down south and go in Florida too. I think obviously you know with my ties down there, but also you look at our staff. We, we got a large number of guys that have recruited that area for a long time, and you know th there's always talent. There's always players down there, and, and you know we, we, we grabbed several DBs, some D linemen. We, we got a running back we got a lot of guys from down that area this year <laughs> a lot of speed down in florida yeah. now when you talk about coming in this season this is your new season here in college park but this is the third year of the big 10 conference for maryland what are your expectations of this crew and where do you need to go yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think really for us right now, it's it's about let's have the best Wednesday we could possibly have, and then tomorrow it's gonna be the best Thursday we can possibly have, and and so on. I mean, we had a, we had a workout this morning with our guys. It was really the first time our coaching staff has been able to get on the field with our guys, and and you know, uh, not practice with a football or anything, but just just work out and get with them. So um, it's been we've been out on the road during contact period. Our guys have been home during during Christmas break, and so you know, we're just we're just getting to know our guys as well. And so I, I think, like I said, when, when you look at what this program where it's going and where it can be, the sky's the limit. We, we have a great uh, uh, recruiting base in our backyard right here, and, and so we're, we're going we're gonna to keep going year in and year out, and I, I know we can get the talent here to go compete with anyone. D.C., Maryland, Virginia has always had a wealth of talent, but let's talk a little bit about areas outside on the peripheral, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. What kind of impact do you think you can make in those areas in recruiting? Right. I mean, as you said, I mean, you know, you look at New Jersey year in and year out, they, they, they produce some top players, too, and they've had a remarkable number of guys going to play in the NFL. And so um, that, that that's important to us as well. I, I spent a day up there last week. And um, I mean, th this part of the country, football is important. You know, football is big. It's important. And there, there's a lot of time and, and effort put into it. There's great coaching in this area. So you're getting guys that are really prepared to, to come in and play when they get here. And, um, you know, again, the, the DMV, I think, is really, really strong. And, and so we, we we can work our way up and down the East Coast, and, and I really think w with our brand name and, and the affiliation Under Armour and all the things that's going on with the new facility coming up here and everything, I, I know we can really make our mark. Talking about numbers, 
about 10 guys from the DMV area collectively and perhaps seven coming out of the out of Florida you know is that something that you expected on this recruiting class um yeah I mean it, it's not we didn't target a particular number or not I, I'd almost like to have even more out of the DMV um and, and like I said earlier I mean we're reviewing Florida is like our second home we're, we're gonna we're gonna spend time down there as well and so you know it's I mean it, it's easy to figure out. Like that's where a lot of the best players are, and that, that's we happen to be located right there in one of those areas. So that's where we're going to recruit. Talk about spring ball ahead. You have guys coming in, obviously as freshmen, but now you have the holdovers from the roster. And what kind of philosophy are you trying to put forth with everybody collectively? Just w real simple. In, in, with our guys and in recruiting, we're looking for guys that play with great effort. They put great effort and enthusiasm towards what they do. Um, we're looking for guys that are tough, mentally and physically tough, play the game tough and physical. It, it's a tough man's game. And uh, we want guys that are competitive, guys that love to compete at everything they do, guys that play more than one sport and just, just they love to get out there and go compete. And finally, guys that do things right. So that meaning, you know, they're where they're supposed to be. They go to class. They understand the importance of academics. They, they just do things right. And th those four areas, effort, toughness, competitiveness, and doing things right, that's what we're going to build our team around on our, on our own roster right now. And, and it's the same thing we're looking for in recruiting. Well, when you took this job, you knew you were coming into one of the toughest divisions in all of college football with the East. You know, how did you evaluate whether you would have success in this division or not? It is. I mean, I think it's real easy. We're able to recruit here guys that want to play at the highest level because they know by coming here that they're playing in one of the top conferences, top divisions of one of the top <laughs> conferences in the country. And uh, so, you know, it takes a special type of person that wants to do that, wants to compete at that level. And those are the guys we're looking for. So to me, it's, it's a great way to, to kind of sort through things as you're, as you're going through recruiting. All right, Coach DJ Durkin, first year at the helm here on the campus of the University of Maryland, but boy, he's ready and excited along with his staff. And I'll tell you what, you guys have a lot to build on. Thanks a lot. Right, thank you.